What's up guys, it's me Chihuahua, and today we're going through the best brawler in every rarity in Brawl Stars. But before we start, quickly, let's just open this pin pack, let's see what we get. Mortis! Gene! Oh, that is a really good pack. Mortis and Crow, I don't even care if I didn't get an epic. Crow clap. Got the purple hand, that looks pretty cool. Anyways, starting off the video, we have the first rarity, and that is the starter brawler. And there's only one brawler in this rarity, which makes it a pretty easy choice, and the one brawler in this rarity is Shelly. So, Shelly's pretty good in low trophies, and if you have her gadget, the clay pigeons, she becomes infinitely better. She goes from just being up close and winning only with her super to being a pretty well-rounded brawler so shelly will go the best in the starter brawlers now moving on to the next rarity this one's a bit harder because there are eight brawlers in this rarity and most of them are pretty good right now barley is pretty good because the throwers got indirect buff because of the indestructible walls bull's pretty good and el primo are pretty good because they can just go around the indestructible walls colt is has always been good he can deal a lot of damage especially in heist. Brock, also a good option. But the best brawler in the rare rarity is Poco. And Poco's good because in Power League is a lot of good maps, and he's good in lots of game modes, like Hot Zone, Brawl Ball. Yeah, that's it. He has a lot of utility. He can deal damage, and he can heal basically to full health. He is the best rare. Moving on to super rare. In this group, there are 10 super rare brawlers which makes this a pretty hard choice. The throwers are good, like Tick and Dynabike. Penny's also good because of her turret. Carl is also really good. It's a pretty hard pick. If you take everything into account, I think Dynamite is the best because he just deals insane damage. His super can deal up to 6,000 damage, I think, which is a lot with his star power. And his stun just gives him a guaranteed kill every single time if you land it. And if you don't get a guaranteed kill from a stun, then I think you have to pick a different brawler because you are not good hate to break it to you okay dynamite is the best in super rare now moving on to epic this was a pretty hard choice 13 epic brawlers right now and they are all pretty good ems is good at dealing damage Bo is good at controlling Stu is really good at just getting his super and attacking ham is not as good but everyone's playing her now because of the your mom title including me piper is really good and very viable on lots of bounty and knockout maps frank can deal a lot of damage. BB is good at getting close to people because of the new walls. B does insane damage. So does Nani and Griff. Edgar can jump on people. Bonnie can super in on people. But none of those win because I think Grom is the best in the epic rarity because of the indestructible walls. He can throw over walls. His gadget that lets him throw multiple is insane, especially in duels. He is just insane. His super can basically one shot everyone or two shot everyone. And Grom's just a pretty well rounded brawler. Okay, moving on to the mythics. We have nine mythic brawlers, not including Willow. We'll talk about her when she gets released and see if she's better than the winners here. But I think the best in this rarity, probably all this row. But Tara's a bit worse. So for mythic, it's tied between Gene and Max. Gene's really good because he can check the bushes and we just got his new pin, which is pretty nice. He can check the bushes and with vision gear, he's really good, especially on really bushy maps. In duels, he's really good on this map specifically i'll put it up yeah he's just really good he can pull in people pull in some dynamics anyone who has low hp and then gene is tied with max so max is good because she can basically dodge attacks very fast because she's the fastest brawler in the game she has four ammo which really helps and her super just boosts people up the map she shoots a lot of projectiles which deal pretty good damage more than meg which is kind of sad yeah max is tied with gene for best mythic. Now moving on to probably one of the hardest rarities to rank. Definitely not the hardest because chromatic is the hardest to rank. But I think the best legendary right now is Crow. So you might be thinking, why Crow? Well, Crow can deal lots of chip damage, which is really good to people that can't heal it and have low health. He basically just stays back, throws a few daggers, and then supers in, and then that's a guaranteed kill. And also, his slow gadget is really OP, which lets him just slow anyone that's affected by his gadget. It allows him to do really pro plays and dribble the ball in Brawl Ball, which is really useful. He can also deal a lot of damage to a high save if he wanted to with a super. 
Okay, anyways, that's legendary. Now moving on to the hardest rarity to rank. There are 17 chromatic brawlers right now, and all of them are pretty good. Gale is just really good at controlling the map, getting people away, stunning them, slowing them. Surge is really good at just getting his super and running in, dealing lots of damage, and just being overpowered. I don't know what else Surge means to do. Colette is really good at taking out those tanks and supering in, killing anyone else, which makes her a good option. Lou super is so OP when he just puts it down and uses his stun gadget, Cairo Syrup, and he can deal so much damage with his basic attack. Ruffs, also pretty good, but not as good as the others. He can throw his super, which deals a lot of damage. He can pick up his super and then deal more damage. Bell deals a lot of damage far away and can stop people from bunching up and can benefit off people bunching up on the other team with her bounce attack. Her super makes her team deal more damage, which is pretty good. Basically a guaranteed kill because the enemy keeps it on forever. And Bell's gadget, the slow one, is also really good. Nest egg. Moving on to Buzz, he can stun. Yeah, what else do I have to say? It's it's a dinosaur that can stun. Ash deals a lot of damage. People are saying he's the best tank in the game. Lola can spawn a clone. Fang can super in and deal a lot of damage. Eve can get her little gremlins out and attack. Janet can fly over walls. Otis can mute people. Sam starts with his super. Buster can reflect shots. Mandy can one-shot people and has the longest range in the game. And RT, I don't even know. He can place out his legs and become two Jackies. So you might be one who of these 17 brawlers is going to be number one and it's really close basically any of these could be good but i think it goes to rt because rt just deals a lot of damage and he marks people make it explode and deal some more damage when he hits them again in heist he can just place down his legs and then attack deal 5,000 damage per hit which in my opinion makes him the best okay guys that was the best brawler in every rarity hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you next time Bye.